Welcome back. Today I want to do a video on this program, Open RGB for controlling the RGB here under Linux. With this program, you can control your RGB here under Linux. Now my default on this is actually rainbow is what my motherboard does by default out of the box. As you can see on the camera view that I have down here in the corner. Now, something you do got to know is the number of LEDs in your device. So if I go in, rescan devices, when you first run this program, it's going to ask you to scan your devices and you'll have to enter in the number for your devices. Mine is 32. So as long as I set it to 32, everything lights up properly. So I have it set to all zones, but I just want to show some modes that it can do. You can do breathing and you got to change that to a brighter thing to get it to actually do it. I don't know why it does that. And you can obviously change different colors here down in the bottom. There is a flashing mode, but I'll have to set it to the color. I don't know why you'd want it in that mode, but you can do a spectrum cycle. And it's just going to cycle through the different colors, but it's going to be a solid color. And then you can do a case fade. You want to set it to a solid color, but then it kind of does a weird light show, but then it, I find on this, it then cycles down to the RGB that's in the motherboard itself. And for some reason, it doesn't go back to the fans. Now, I do know that you can go to specific LED modes and stuff on here. You can do a case mode. I personally like to just set it on static and just select the color and just leave it on that. Or you can put it on direct, select the color. It's pretty much just like static to where it doesn't change the color. So I honestly will just set it to static. You can also just shut it off. This program cannot control my video card, however, because of the polychrome software that is in the AS Rock video cards. Now, if I go over to settings here and I go over to supported devices, you'll see a, there is some AS Rock devices that are in here. Like you got a Vega 56, but that's an older device. But mostly they're, some of their motherboards are supported in AS Rock. But You'll find ASUS is very, 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 very supported on this program. So I have had no issues with multiple different uh, ASUS motherboards. They've all worked with this program, even with me not checking the support. But you've got DMX devices, you know, you got these Casa smart devices. There's a, some devices that are. Other ones like you got Philips Hue devices that you can add, Wiz devices, Ye Light, Nano Leaf. You see that in a lot of uh, backgrounds on YouTube channel. Elgato is supported, but this program allows people that are moving from Windows and coming to Linux that you can actually control your devices here under Linux. That is something I do like is being able to just control my RGB setting stuff like I tried to create the color of ice on my computer, which is why it's got that kind of blue thing there. I'm just going to set it to load profile there, which is my ice blue preset I made. And it looks really good. It almost looks white in the case, but I do like that. You know, I just like having a neutral color in my case, even though my RGB on my video card can't be changed. 
I may just flip the switch on the video card to just shut it off. But I like being able to look over at the card and actually see when the fans are running when I'm editing video or something. But this program, I do believe, is would be helpful for people coming from Windows from uh, not wanting to run Windows 10 or maybe their hardware is not on the supported list for Windows 11. But this is a good program that I do think people can look into. There is another program specifically designed for Corsair IQ devices that is getting really updated pretty rapidly. Uh, you got Razer device support, so for different Razer keyboards, you know, Razer mouse pads that may have RGB lighting around the edge of them, you can adjust all of that. But let me know. Have you ever used this program? Do you use it? Do you have any recommendations of other RGB control lighting software under Linux that is good for users that are not wanting to go into the terminal to? do it but comment below anything you'd like to see your experience with gaming on linux or content creation on linux experience with software like open rgb and uh like subscribe comment below and share the video and i'll see you in the next video thank you later